Have you ever seen one of these before? I imagine you have. They were pretty common for many years, but you don't seem to see them too much now. It's been something I've been fascinated in most of my life. Certainly as a child, when I saw them, I thought that was pretty neat. And uh, I ended up getting one maybe 25 years ago or more um, at a little science store in Toronto. It's called a radiometer. And basically it consists of a glass vacuum bulb with a little windmill-like structure in, inside of it that sits on the head of a pin, basically, in this case. The little weather vanes, or the little panels that spin, are painted on one side black and on the other side white or just left silver. And then they're attached together to a glass, an upside down glass uh, cylinder or almost like a tube and knit the tube rests on the head of the pin. So there's very little um, resistance to the little weather vane spinning. And basically it just spins in the heat of the sun, or even if you point a pretty bright light at it, it will start to spin. So there's very little resistance inside the vacuum bulb, and it just spins as soon as the Sun hits it, and you'll see as soon as I put some shade on it, it'll stop spinning. Slowing down, slowing down. Bring out the sun. Once again, pretty neat little device to show to people that may not have seen them before. I'd forgotten I almost had it and then I just uh, saw it the other day in my art room and uh, sitting on this windowsill hidden behind some stuff. I thought people might be interested in this if they haven't already seen it. It was basically, I guess, um, invented in 1873 by the chemist Sir William Crookes, who was doing similar type of research, I guess, and uh, he must have made one of these uh, using his vacuum glass bulb blowing techniques or whatever and basically uh, created this concept. i would been curious whether something like this on a larger scale could actually be used to create some significant power but perhaps the combination of needing a huge vacuum uh, would make it not only uneconomical but maybe unproductive. It may not have a lot of power behind it, perhaps, I don't know. Anyhow, interesting. I'll zoom in here, take a look at the closer workings of it. There's the little glass cylinder resting on the head of the pin with the four little veins attached to it. The radiometer.